Like, for example, we consider for the top executive in Japan, headquarter, almost none of those can communicate with overseas people. They can see the figures. This is good, tells good. Right. But suddenly, su suddenly, turn terrible. This is a company population. So this is, but this is actually, I know, just an example. But I had an experience this, this other, uh, this week actually. Um, in the, the first months that I that I worked in the company, I did a, a study of how much. Uh, how much of our capacity we could we could uh, reduce <laughs> the workload? So how how much percentage of our work we could outsource to third party <coughs> vendor? And I wrote a very detailed report about it. And uh, and uh, uh, <coughs> so we, we can we can go we can go ahead and uh, we got a margin of a, of a budget <coughs> to actually uh, implement it. Uh, so looking for vendors, but then. <coughs> Actually, when you are at the point of of uh, making a decision about suitable vendor, the report might have been very detailed. But what you actually need is that at the, at the, in the final stage, you need to be able to, to to really discuss with every individual that you are going that that's going to be affected, how to best uh, find a, a matching supplier. So that is not something you can You're capture talking in about outsourcing. I'm talking about outsourcing. Okay. Yeah. So so I'm, uh, so basically, there's a difference between what you put in a report. It can never capture exactly what uh, how it's actually going to work in in uh, in real life um, because uh, requirements change. It's uh, uh, in the end, uh, uh, the report gives a recommendation of how many people you need to hire. But it doesn't really c cover everything, like okay, working style, personalities, um, uh, w what works, what doesn't work, how certain vendors uh, are preferred over others for all kinds of things. So that is something that that is kind of distance that you have, even when you read the report. So in the final step, you need to delegate the responsibility of actually contracting a vendor um, be, uh, to 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 your man. Uh, on site, because uh, he, if or she, when they do the job right, uh, they will have direct contact in bringing the most beneficial supplier uh, to 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 support them. Delegating that and making the decision in headquarters is not effective. Maybe you are you want to talking about this uh, very difficult measure. So you, you can measure it. You, you, okay, you can manage. You, you can manage things a little bit remotely. So the th first thing I did is I wrote a report to that support decision making, but the actual implementation you cannot manage from the head office. You need to do that locally. So that means that you need to delegate responsibility to the actual implementation locally. That means that you cannot. Com you can only control this from head office by giving general direction based on input from from um, only peers result here. right so basically you need to, you need to make some kind of decisions right but the actual implementation that's the second step so step one uh, a person like Takaisan goes overseas makes inventory of um, of the situation writes a recommendation that recommendation will have numbers, will have details, will have supporting uh, supporting uh, materials, what have you. What do you recommend? What I recommend is that actually you that that to the head office to recognize that they only have limited control, so they can only make the main decisions. They will need to delegate responsibility locally because. They will not have a clear sight of the actual situation. That is, uh, that is not doable, actually. Mm. So, in order to outsource effectively, in order to delegate to to run a overseas subsidiary effectively, you need to rely on um, on your people. But you uh, you also need to make sure that they don't overspecify every. Uh, ev ev like like uh, 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 over specify their recommendations. Okay, it, it needs to be substantiated, and you need to give them 
the, the, the free hand to actually implement what they are the, what they have been proposing. So the key point is that you need to delegate because you cannot manage your overseas subsidiary only by paper alone. And I don't understand that. Okay, so so the intention. Okay, paper doesn't the measurement doesn't affect it. Right. I understand. Right. But what kind of action you should do? So you need to delegate. You need to delegate it. But delegate is uh, very risky. It's very risky, but it, it's the only way you can do it. As long as you give parameters, okay, you can do it within these uh, degrees of freedom. So if you if you de okay, so let's say that we are going to let's say hire a hundred people. For an, for, a, for an overseas branch, right? So based on the calculations and we looked at the projections and we looked at the market and we gave uh, compelling numbers with, uh, with uh, uh, contracts that we have and work that needs to be done, etc., etc. So my recommendation is we hire 100 people, uh, 50 in this, with, this speci uh, with this specialty, 20 in this specialty, and 30 with that specialty. That's it. And you can say yes or no, or we make it uh, 30, 30, 20, 20, or, but that's where it stops. But the total implementation needs to be with the with with the per, with the, the local uh, local branch that cannot be decided, that cannot be ruled from overseas. Mm -hmm. So delegation is crucial. Otherwise, forget it. Make the cause problem not happen. If it if it cause problems, what happen? Okay, so basically, if your um, the, the person you delegate responsibility, the first question is, did you do as agreed? Mm -hmm. Right. So if if the, if the person didn't do that and he didn't report on it, then it's the responsibility of the person that had the delegated responsibility, right? Because he or she basically diverted them on what has been had been agreed upon. But if this person stayed within his uh, uh, limitation, then the next question is, were the decisions that this person made, the hirings that this person made, were they made effectively? And then becomes a, a competence. Uh, so first of all, the liability question, then it becomes a competence question. And, and, and then uh, finally, uh, it, it could also become a part of, well, any, any kind of other reason why it failed. So, uh, First is, is is liability, competence, and then, okay, other factors. Hmm. But I think it's a you. It's it's a it's a utopia to think that you will be a, can effectively manage everything that happens overseas because the reality is, uh, it's not only a, a, a not constant. Because it's changing all the time, right? The, the, the challenge that people have will change all the time. You need to be agile. You need to be able to respond. Uh, uh, customers come and go. Developments are changing. If people, if, if you think you can manage that, uh, sitting in your in your office, if you can manage your Malaysian subsidiary from there, I think you're in for a very bad surprise. Hmm. So you will need to delegate to quite a lot, large ex extent. Otherwise, it will fail. Of course, you need to have the right numbers. You need to you need to be informed uh, about the main points. In this, okay, well, this, this, and that you can do, and that you cannot do. But other than that, you need to delegate it. Mm. So it means just only the fear, like kind of performance measurement. Right, and it's really what you see in performance measurement. But very often, I mean, even even within companies, you see that people say, "Yeah, sure, we will do that. We will do that," and they don't do it. 
Well, actually, the, the reality is they don't do it. Currently, they evaluate uh, the benefits and the cost balances, right? Hmm. Only way to make judgment for him. Right. But, okay. Uh, yeah. But what, what you see in reality is that people make decisions based on, uh, like, like, like even on, on, on a micro, micro level, uh, okay, so, so we are evaluating vendors and we look at, okay, so, all right, so there is a, the, this interest, but when you, you're actually talking to the people who need, who are doing that work, they have much more knowledge, much more uh, knowledge, because they've been working with this vendor before, or they know exactly on a very detailed level what is necessary and, and, and how it would benefit them. Uh, directly if they would be working with vendor A or vendor B. That kind of information you will never be able to grasp on a higher level. You need yeah, to delegate. My, my sustained concern is usually headquarter people, they do not know uh, what is the kind of business is uh, useful for that uh, subsidiary right. activity. Right. And they don't know where, and they just delegate the responsibility and all, only check in revenue and the cost. Right. That's all they can do for as their responsibility. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, in the case of for example, they need to expand market share. Mm -hmm. right. Or they need to add more business product line. So two things is uh, local people capacity might be they are not sufficient to mm -hmm. develop kind of market development. So we need to change strategy. At this case, we cannot delegate at this case, right? Well, maybe it's the only thing you can do. I mean, um, or, but, but you cannot assume that people who are, who are doing this all the time, uh, uh, working in this direction all the time, will be just as effective working in the other direction. There, is, there are limitations. To what you can do. So sometimes you need to you need to bring in new people. Uh, you need to bring in new kinds of skills in order to um, to, to to be successful. The, uh, again, from my personal experience, now we're trying to change direction and and, and look okay, at so my my concern is okay delegation. You are right, but uh, if business is going underway, the same as it is. Mm in the last year and the next year. At this case is going concern, okay? Right. Keep going. Right. And this is okay. But uh, in case we need to change a business style or your sales product or territory and so forth and so forth. At this case I think what you said, okay, add, add additional person put in that area. But this case is usually very difficult to do that. Because that person in Singapore, in Malaysia, whatever, he took responsibility and he managed by himself, but he got additional person, he need to share responsibility, right? Mm. So it means uh, we, this is going to, on this, those area, it's going to be additional, you know, uh, persuasive process for the current uh, local top person. But, it, so, okay, that, let's say that, that, that uh, let's say, for example, that I am the, the, the manager of the Singapore branch. Now, we want to expand our business into Malaysia, so I need a country manager for Malaysia. Um, in that case, instead of creating a second uh, person in, in, in Malaysia, like since Malaysia and, and Singapore are very closely related, um, why don't we create a structure where uh, Malaysia becomes a subsidiary of Singapore uh, so that much easier to 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 monitor and and you don't have to uh. so what I'm, I'm saying is usually Japanese company not so much uh, skillful how to persuade for the person keep motivation mm. right so okay he thought this is Asia Pacific his, his territory he has responsibility now is uh, a uh, new assigned person to Malaysia, so they need to share responsibility. 
but how to keep responsibility, how to keep motivation for this person. And Japanese top executive, depending on their skill, uh, persuade Singapore uh, present person persuasion, how to keep the same as before. Because uh, this person might be not skilled to expand territory, right. more uh, broader product line. And this case is uh, everybody is not super person. Mm -hmm. So product line, the scope, and uh, so division, and so forth. So we need to limit his responsibility, right? But we try to keep his motivation. This is not easy, right? I think that is actually that is not only Japanese. That I think that's that's true. yeah. But the, what what I will all wanted to say, uh, delegate responsibility. You are right. Uh, same as it is this year, next year, the same on the same line. Right. It might be uh, on the lane. Okay, on the lane. Yeah. We try to make an effort to increase five percent, eight percent sales growth. It's okay. But in the in the, in the case of changing strategy, mm. and this this case is okay. We are going to open the market in Indonesia. We are going to do something European, and the situation is going to be changed. Mm. Right. So uh, I think this to be exact to skill, not only delegate, but also he she also involved in kind of case. Mm. And usually, local some uh, some to to person against headquarters opinion. So, mm -hmm. this is actually required for the top executive skill in mm -hmm. the quarter. But that case is usually not so doing well because local uh, person present, even the case of Japanese, he never tells the truth in his mind. Mm -hmm. So, this is what we are going to negotiate with him. This is but that's an ego problem, right? It's not. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, uh, usually, the company problem is. Uh, Almost all cases, uh, human to human communication. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, just uh, he should have uh, skillful to s how to sell product, how to manage their employees. Of course, they should do that. But uh, more difficulties at certain level of position communication with each other. Mm -hmm. How to share this one with you? How to go to go to get more better performance? Cooperation. This is not easy mm. task, but many cases just that not success. But and Brazil cases are one example. That's only one company, but he cannot get uh, delegate to company in Brazil. But uh, he cannot get the grasp of that local person management. You know, mm. um, but he's thinking about in his heart delegate. But uh, it means actually only the get only figures. But suddenly, if you turn the world, but too late. Mm. Right. So, but delegate itself is, uh, is not easy things to do. Even even if the business is not going well. In this case, market is changing, like an exchange rate, or like the economy is uh, suddenly sluggish. In this case, is what kind of reaction should take. Mm. So, uh, my opinion is, okay, economy is stable. No unless. And this country is going well. And our strategy is the same as before. Okay, we can delegate everything for him. Mm -hmm. Same as this year, next year, and five, eight percent, we are then growth. But if country exchange rate is fluctuating, mm -hmm. and economy is sluggish, and the government unrest, and every time at that time, headquarters should involve. Otherwise, get risky. It's a Brazil case that happened. Mm -hmm. So, sort of things is uh, Japanese company, they don't have clearly defined rule mm. or what kind of action should take. Because Japanese people is in Japan, uh, government never unleash. And Japanese economy is very steady. Mm. And uh, they cannot understand um, local subsidiary mm. kind of situation. And they don't, maybe they don't have rules for what kind of action should take in that case. This I so called emergency case. Mm -hmm. Overseas is uh, Middle East, America, and Europe, always they have many emergency cases happen, mm -hmm. always. But Japanese reaction is too slow. So this is uh, uh, my opinion for the, how to delegate. Okay, that's what you said, delegate uh, the responsibility to local people, you're right. I agree with you, mm -hmm. but uh, 
I studied in 100 countries, but 100 countries out of 80 countries, not stable. Mm. Even including America, not stable. You mm. must be careful. Uh, every other month, every quarter, you must be carefully watching that country situation, otherwise you're losing money. Mm. And don't take this one, don't ask his responsibility, but his, his responsibility is usually, he's not so much flexible to react to the country, the market and changing, because usually Japanese person with the position might be manager, general manager level, not top executive, so they react is not so quick and so not so make big investment. And the country is suddenly going to turn around. In that case, is, some cases, company need to fire 100, 100 people, military, but the uh, local you know, president cannot make judgment for that. Mm. Sort of seems is Japanese very weak to take action, right? mm. try to keep the same way that uh, court problem. Right. This is my Same mind. way plus.